Good morning. How are you? Good. Did you guys have a busy week? I did. You want to see how busy my week has been? Hang on. That's been my week. Yeah, pretty busy. Let's see. So um, on Monday, Oppie had uh, tap and ballet. A rope had what's called hoopology. Some of my friends out here know what that means. That's a basketball camp. Um, on the 16th, I had to go into the office because I mostly work from home, but on the 16th, I had to go into the office. Uh, let's see, the 17th, um, we call Elizabeth. That's our other daughter in Philadelphia. Oppie has tumbling. Uh, let's see, a rope has hoopology again. Uh, Addie has Girl Scouts, and then Lala has a JROTC drill. Let's see, Thursday, I had to take Oppie to the dentist. I went to the doctor. My daddy and I and Oppie, we went to the commissary. Uh, let's see, yesterday, my girls had no school except for Oppie. She had to be taken to school. And then um, you had off. <laughs> That's a lot, huh? Yeah. And then let's see today. I have the children's story, and then I think that there's Pathfinders a little bit later on. So that's a lot. That's a lot, huh? But you know what? I do this because I love you guys. I love my kids. I love my family. My family completes me so much. And here's another little thing that one of my family members left for me. Yeah. What does that say? What does that say, Addie? Austin wrote that for me. I was so busy one week. Oh my goodness, I was stressed, I was tired. And when he wrote that note for me, I've kept that for several months now. That has been, I know, go Austin, huh? <laughs> But you know what is so wonderful is that, you know, not only when our family members with inside or, you know, immediate family can share messages of love, I've also too have shared messages of love with family members within our own church family here. And if I've shared a message with you, would you mind standing up? All right. Rose, will you please share what your message said? Absolutely. I love that quote, color coordination. Every Sabbath, my kids are like, I wonder what Rose and Lamont are going to be wearing. What color are they choosing? It's wonderful. <laughs> Anne, thank you. It is. Oh my goodness. I absorb your smile so much and I know I'm not the only one. Everybody else does too. Thank you. Miss Claire. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for playing the piano. Absolutely. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Everybody has just some something that we love about each other. You know, we are given the Ten Commandments, but in the New Testament, we are also given the New Commandment. I give you a new commandment, love one another. Just as I've loved you, you must love one another. By, all, by this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Isn't that wonderful? It just took me a moment just to write those messages down. It took Austin just a moment to write that message for me. Remember, we are uh, followers of Christ. Our followers of Christ are recognized by their love for each other. Let me ask everybody out here, would you enjoy if one of our younger children here were to write you a note on one of these hearts and leave it for you? Can I see a show of hands who would enjoy that? My friends here, turn around and see who would love to receive a little heart from you guys. I see lots of hands. All right. Thank you for 
uh, listening to this message, and I pray that, you know, the love that you have within your heart can be given to others. Should we have a little prayer? Father, thank you for your love. By you showing us love first, we are able to know and understand how wonderful that is. And we pray that we will be able to take that message and to spread it, not only here, but everywhere. Father, guide us and protect us in your loving name. As we lift you up in praise, we say to you, in Jesus' name we love you. Amen.